What's up guys, we're going to do a review on my VSET 10 Plus. And I have clocked about 800 miles on it in a couple months. Actually, um, you ride about 20 to 25 miles every night, so it adds up pretty quick. Um, just going to try to get everything I can in this review. I always forget stuff um, but we'll try to remember everything for you what I love about it what I don't love about it um, you know overall it's a pretty awesome scooter um, I've never had any issues with it uh, for starters um, as you can see I've changed the bars I have race face race face mountain biking bars on here and uh, that was a game changer for me I'm a pretty big guy I'm about 230 pounds about 6'1 um, and the wider bars uh, helped a lot way, felt way more comfortable I don't like the idea of folding bars I ride pretty fast and I ride pretty crazy and I don't want my bars to be able to fold in any way just doesn't sound like a good idea to me <laughs> um, so yeah besides that I would I would that's the best upgrade that I did for this scooter is I changed the bars um, and that just made it feel so much more comfortable like while I'm riding my shoulders arms are relaxed um, <clears throat> I never really had speed wobbles um, so let's start with the problems that people say about this scooter like on electric scooter guides stuff like that they say that the deck is too short. Um, I, I obviously have big feet. I have size 13 shoe. Um, at first, it did feel a little tight, but not like tight to where like, oh, this is uncomfortable, just tight to where I was adjusting a little bit because I kept feeling this back edge right here, which wasn't that big of a deal. However, after a week of riding it, I don't think about it anymore. The My front foot is right up against the charge ports here. And then my back foot is sideways all the way in the back. And honestly, the scooter feels super comfortable. Um, people complain about the charge ports on the on the top. Uh, I've never had an issue with it. I put these covers on them. I got them from Rev Rides. Uh, they're a little expensive, but they look they look cool. That's kind of the only reason why I did it. <laughs> um, and another problem they say is the trigger ergonomics or whatever, where they say that this is the angle is not not great because in stock in stock form the trigger is like up here and your brake is way down here and it's hard to get to while you're riding um however i fixed that problem by flipping my brake levers um i like having my back brake on my right hand um because that's just the way i grew up riding mountain bikes and stuff like that so i actually <clears throat> um took off the levers and i actually flipped them so right now they're actually upside down and I haven't had any issues with that. So it's still kind of cool because it says V-Set on the bottom. So that's pretty sweet. Um, but what it, what, why I'm mentioning that is because, do you see this reservoir right here? This this uh, oil, sorry, I keep focusing on my car, which isn't a bad thing, but um, the reservoir is, is what prevents this part from coming down far enough. But as you can see, this this is hardly any gap at all so when i flipped the levers i was able to bring this down and now um, resting the finger and the brake are accessible and it's not any trouble at all and i'm never thinking about oh shoot i gotta grab my brake and take my finger off the throttle uh, it's always been fine um so if you want to get around that you can um and so, yeah, so everything they say negative about the scooter, it, there it goes. It's not a problem. Um, I never got any speed wobbles. However, I did notice some when, um, let's say I'm going like 40 miles an hour and I hit the brakes hard. Then I would notice a little bit, sorry, it's out of focus. Then I would notice a little bit of wobble, but never an uncontrollable wobble. I was always able to stop it. Never like, oh, shoot, I'm going to die. I never, <laughs> I never got that uh, speed wobble out of it. It's fine, um, so no issues there. I think I ride a lot with my weight on the front of it, and I think that helps. Putting a little more weight towards the front, I think it helps with that. Like I said, not an issue for me. 
I've seen others ride it that were lighter than me, and I have seen them wobbling more than, than I do. Maybe it's just the way I ride. I don't know. Um, the suspension, like I said, I'm 230 pounds. Uh, the suspension is good. It's, it's, it's bouncy. It's very playful is what I would describe it as. I wouldn't describe it as plush, like the, like the rebound. It rebounds. <laughs> it, there's, no, there's not a lot of damper in these shocks. Um, people say these shocks are junk. I don't know. I haven't, uh, I haven't taken it off to find out. But people say they're heavy, and people say they're junk, and they change it with some aftermarket shocks. Uh, but for me, it was fun. Like, uh, I was on the sidewalks. If I found a sidewalk that was sticking up, or, like, I could just I could just preload the suspension. Why does this thing keep going out of focus? I could preload the suspension with my feet, and I, I would jump this thing pretty easily. It would just kind of float, which was fun. I love jumping stuff. Um, if you're wondering what this wire is here, this is a light. It's a light wire. You can't really see it right now. But, uh, yeah, this lights up around that lights up at night and it looks pretty cool um it goes fast i've done i've done 47 on it on flat ground um i have done the p setting adjustments to fix the speedometer so it is accurate um it does well into the high 40s and it gets me there pretty quickly i will say though right now i live in the desert um it's about 100 degrees when we ride and i can feel a noticeable drop in performance if I'm cruising at over 35 to 40 miles an hour for like five minutes or so, I can feel it start getting hot and losing performance. Um, so that's one thing to note. If you feel your scooter doing that, I would, I would give it a five minute break because it is noticeably faster when the scooter is cooler. Um, and then the sport mode is pretty awesome. It definitely works. You can definitely tell the difference. Um, I've, I've gotten, that's the only way I hit like over 45 um, without sport mode like you're in you're in like mid 40s you know 44 you probably kept 45 but when you hit the sport mode you start climbing into the higher 40s and so i do notice a difference with that the tail lights the blinkers it's all great um it's really cool it's that it's just right here in the grip you just press that button and uh see if you can get a click, little click press that button and you got a blinker for like 15 seconds i don't know it blinks like 30 times and then it, then it turns off um, the folding mechanism is good. Dude, this, I'm sorry, guys, if my phone's out of focus a lot. I don't know why it's doing that. Um, the folding mechanism is good. Um, it works. Um, however, I've noticed that this thing, I've noticed that, that this thing starts uh, getting unscrewed as I'm riding. I'll look down and this thing will be like halfway out and I'll have to screw this back in. That's happened in the last like 200 miles. Um, when you fold the scooter, it goes down and then, um, it clips this piece right here clips, uh, clips down onto, onto this piece right here, but it doesn't actually clip. It just kind of rests under here and it can totally slide off. So it works if you want to pick it up for a minute, but if you're like, want to transport it for a longer, like you carrying the handle, I, I wouldn't do it. It was, it could slide off and then it fall right out of your hands which is not good. I, I, when I lift it, I just fold the, I drop the bars down to here and then I just grab it from underneath, underneath the deck and I lift up on it. Um, so, I mean, it works, but I don't really care. I don't, I don't fold the scooter. I don't transport it a lot, but I do sometimes I brought it to the beach and it's been good. <clears throat> this is the 28 amp hour version. Um, I get an easy 35 miles. If I want to stretch it, I could probably get 50. I've done 40 miles like while having fun, having a good time and not worrying about my battery. Um, so I'm sure I could do 50 miles and that's an average of like, you know, whatever, 30 miles an hour, maybe not an average of 30, but I, I'm ha I have fun with it. You know, I'm not like trying to conserve my battery. And uh, so it's not an issue. So I do recommend the 28 amp hour version. Uh, let me see if there's anything else. People don't like the horn, all this stuff you can find out in other reviews if you want to, but the horn's like, not that loud. I think it sounds okay. It's just not very loud. Um, what else? Yeah, I think that's just about it. Um, so yeah, overall, it's a great scooter. Haven't had any issues. If, I will say this, if you do buy this scooter, make sure that you are getting the updated version of it. And that is this piece right here. 
this piece is all yellow. If you see yellow and black here, that's because this is this is a separate piece, okay? And the new ones, this is all one piece. This piece here, the the kick, the footrest, connects to this back plate, and it's one piece design. And I fully recommend that, however you find out, that you get the newest version of the scooter because if what happens is that the bolts that connect these two, they snap, and the heads snap off and then you have to get them out, and this piece is $300, and the scooter manufacturers don't carry it. Um, you have to get it on AliExpress. It's a, it's a big problem, so if you get the scooter, make sure you get the one with the new design, and you will know because this piece right here will be all yellow. They'll be all yellow back here, and there'll be no black. I made that mistake. Don't make that mistake. Make sure you're getting a new one. And I think that's it, guys. I don't really think I missed anything. Yeah, reset 10 plus. Good scooter. But I'm looking forward to my Wolf King GT Pro. Later, guys.